Good day. Hope everybody's having a good one out there. So we gotta we gotta talk about this Steven Tyler thing. Um, I'm not sure anybody has heard, but we're kind of at a quandary here with Mr. Tyler. Um, it's it, some of his antics in his earlier career um, and um, escapades. Uh, were kind of common knowledge growing up. Um, I remember my father telling me this story about how he had um, taken this, you know, he had seen in this interview that he had this like uh, teen bride that, you know, he got guardianship of and all this. And I remember thinking, oh, that's just one of them story, you know, it's just one of them stories somebody came up with, you know, and turns out it it was true tyler even wrote about this in his uh his memoirs and he's also mentioned it in um pandora's box set there's a inlay in that uh if you read through it i believe he um has some quips about the whole thing in there uh, there's been several instances where this has, you know, come to light. Well, now there is a suit against him for um, assault on a minor. We got to be very careful with what we uh, say here. So he was previously not named in in this suit, and just this February. Um, they, they, you know, decided that he could be named now, um, his, his accuser, um, who is accusing him of mm, assault and, uh, battery, including uh, emotional distress against him. Um, her name is Julia Misley, formula Julia Holcomb, um, this was a relationship that happened in the 70s. Now, I believe, if I'm correct, Tyler was in his late 20s. She was at least 16. When Now, I know the age of consent and all that varies from state to state to state. Here's my personal take on it. You were the hottest thing going around at the time. You very had access to basically any woman that you could want and you went for the very youngest thing that you even if it was legal which i believe there's a gray area there even if it's still it's a little slimy man it's a little creepy now he's he's trying to say that you know she hasn't said this was all amicable and you know this was we were just you know um i had consent and blah 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 she i had guardianship of her i mean he throws it back in her face where bro bro you took guardianship of her so you would not get in trouble taking her out of state because she was a minor and you got guardianship so you could take her out on tour with you creep dude it's the creep factor the creep level is getting higher and it's like you're trying to throw these things back in her face i mean you know you even wrote and you're you know almost took a teen bride adding uh her parents fell in love with me uh signed a paper over to me um to have custody so i wouldn't get arrested if i took her outside of the state i took her on tour with me that you know he's bragging basically um she says she was powerless to resist the rocker. And of course, I mean, you know, he co-horsed her and persuaded. She uses those words. 
um, into believing it was a romantic affair. She claims Tyler performed various acts of criminal mm, conduct on her. Um, allegedly, um, a deal was struck with Misley's family granting Tyler guardianship of uh, Holcomb. Also claims she got pregnant with Tyler's son when she was 17. But had a uh, an abortion at the singer's insistence. Um, you know, uh, it's these. The, Tyler's response issued by attorneys, um, by attorney Sean Holly, parents twenty four affirmative defenses denying all the allegations. Among them, Tyler alleges. Uh, Misley's claims are barred in whole or in part by plaintiff's consent and because of immunity or qualified immunity to defendant as caregiver and or guardian. See, they're using the fact that, but it doesn't change the fact of why you did that. Why did you do that? Why? Why did you take guardianship of a minor? It certainly wasn't to take care of her. Although, I believe you were, in your eyes. So, here we are, all these years later, and you still thought you had a place to brag or whatever, and now your past creepy... Things have come home to roost, and here we are. Either way, in the court of popular opinion, I'm pretty sure that's going to start waning a bit. I mean, we're seeing a lot of these, you know, so I had been a fan of, you know, and I'm still a fan of Aerosmith. I mean, it just sucks when you find out, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm a fan of Chuck Berry's music. Not so much the guy. I've heard some pretty sinister stuff about him. You know, there's a lot of, and it's, you know, there's a lot of stars. You know, I, I could go on. Jerry Lewis, um, uh, Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis, sorry. Um, you know, that there's there's quite a lot. I mean, we even got directors, Roman Polanski. Um, just, there's a lot. We could go on, sadly, for hours about all the little trickery that's been pulled by people in these positions in order to be able to do things that they otherwise would not legally be able to do because we have laws about them things for a reason because it's wrong and we've all decided that that's just creepy gross and wrong and to say, well, those were the times, and you know, blah, 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 blah. it's still, it doesn't change the fact that you're a creep, that you've been a creep, and that you did creepy stuff, and you're trying to defend your creepiness with creepiness. It's, it's weird. It's, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to go out and throw, you know, Get Your Wings is, you know, one of my favorite albums from them for, for reasons, for more, it, it brings back memories of growing up and good times, you know, with mom and dad and all that good stuff. Music has a tendency to do that. And that those are the things that should be held on. Letting these things scar the music, it just, it really, it ruins it for you. Because those are memories and things that are attached to that, that, you know, those are for you to, to keep and hold and cherish. Um, you know, it's hard to not, because now every time, you know, it's like, oh, the subject might get brought up. Hey, did you know, he, you know, he had a, you know, he took guardianship of this teenager so he could bring her out of state and, you know, well, wow, why could you, well, because uh, you can't bring, you know, you just can't take a hold of teenagers and start bringing them out of state and bringing them on tour with you, you know, because weird, no guardian. Oh, well, I'll just take guardianship so I can, you know, have my way. And that's the issue. 
is the intent and what what it was all for. Why did you do that? And the answers always come back to creepy. It, it's just, I'm going to, I could say more, but I can't. <laughs> so, but that's the gist of the story right now. Um, but just know that, you know, he's uh, in, in court for these things. And I mean, I, I would guess rightfully so. Um, just because you legally can do something doesn't mean you should be doing something. And finding a legal loophole in order to do things that otherwise would be illegal and especially with who and what you're doing it with. Come on. We know what you are. And there's a name for that. And now there's probably going to be a lot of people naming you that thing. I mean, are they right? Let me know what you think. Um... I just think the whole thing's, you know, it's been creepy from the get-go. Uh, the more that I knew that it was true, the creepier I thought it, the whole thing was. Um, but it's always been one of them things that, yeah, put that out of your mind. And now here we are. It's come home to roost. And now we have lawyers involved. And we'll see what happens. Um, if I was... Um, in his shoes, you know, I guess I would want to keep this out of the, the spotlight and out of the courts and out of the systems, out of any public way that people, that's why he tried being anonymous. So why did you try to be anonymous? You know, I mean, obviously it's something that you're realizing that you shouldn't be too proud of. So I don't know, perhaps if anything Maybe you should be paying some damages of some sort, but I believe in the end of this, you will pay in one way or another. We'll see what that is. Hope everybody out there is having a good day. Hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. we got uh, more stories, reviews, and all sorts of good stuff. If you've got some suggestions, things you uh, want me to check out, talk about, or songs or uh, bands you'd like me to review, let me know. And um, definitely. Have a great day out there. We'll see you in the next one.